Hi, this is KG Dance 101, and this is called the coin rip. So, I take my quarter, and I take a piece of paper. And I'm going to fold this quarter and this piece of paper. So, fold one here. Fold one here. Now, as you can see, the quarter is intact and still in the piece of paper. All right, so now I'm just going to fold it two more times. So I'm going to fold one here, and I'm going to fold one here. So I have my folded piece of paper with my coin inside of it. Now I'm going to do is take my hand. I'm going to put the paper down, and I'm going to wave it over the quarter. So snap my fingers. And all of a sudden, the quarter disappears. And I'll show you it disappears because I just take some of my scissors and I cut it. As you can see, there is no quarter left. All right, now to do this trick. All you have to do is have some tin foil, a quarter, scissors, and a piece of paper. So, to make the quarter, this is a false quarter. It is actually made out of tin foil. So, you rip a small piece of your tin foil and you spread it out, make sure there's not that many wrinkles in it. Doesn't matter if there's wrinkles in it because it's going to be molded anyway. But I just want to smooth that a little. And you take just any random cord that you have. Or you can take a silver dollar or a penny or a dime or a nickel. Do, you can do any coin trick with this. So you place the quarter in the tin foil. You fold the tin foil around the quarter. Make sure it's at the very edge. And you rub the tin foil with the quarter inside of it and you try to get a mold of what the quarter actually looks like. So you do that, you see it could it's starting to mold in to the shape that my quarter has. And it's pretty cool because it molds the whole quarter. So once you think you're pretty good and the quarter looks pretty convincible, you open the tin foil, but you carefully take out the quarter, close the tin foil, and take your scissors. Now what you're going to do is you're going to cut right around the quarter outline. Try to create a perfect circle so the quarter looks real. So. Just got to do is cut there. Try to cut carefully so the quarter looks like it's real. And there, so as you can see, I now have my false quarter. Okay, so when you show it to the audience, you say, okay, I have a quarter. Don't show them up close because that will be definitely almost a dead giveaway because the mold probably is not that strong when you take out the quarter. Show them maybe farther away than this. So about here. So say I have my quarter. You can throw it around. Flick it. Doesn't really matter. Um, and you take the piece of paper. Now I use a cardboard for better folding and making more lines clearly, but it doesn't matter what you do. Oh, and to make the quarter outline in the piece of paper, you take a real quarter, place in the paper, and do like, let's say, one fold, and you just mold it around it. And then just take the quarter out, and then show the audience. So say, okay, I have my quarter, now I'm going to Put it in my piece of paper. I'm going to fold one end here. 
Now make sure you don't fold the quarter because it looks like it's a real quarter. You say you fold this one. Don't fold this one in to, cr to create that whole line effect where it's right straight in line. Try to do it a little more far off like the, it won't go because of the quarter. So fold one there. And then you could show them, say, oh, it made an indent, as you can see. Turn it over. You fold one end. And then you fold the other end. In. And you say, okay, now I'm going to take my hand, or you could say you're going to take your pencil, or you could say whatever. And you say, I'm going to wave my hand upon it, click it, and the quarter has disappeared. Next step is you take your scissors and you just cut it straight in half. Now, if you get something like the little edge of a tin foil, when you're cutting it, it's pretty obvious to see. Just start to cut it like this. So, say it's in here and you're about to cut. Just say, okay, so you cut it, you see it, you go, oh, okay, now my quarter has disappeared. All you do from the back, it looks like this. You take it with your thumb, you bring it into your hand, crumpled up because of Tim and just leave it there. Now from the front, this is what it looks like. All right, and now my quarter has disappeared, so they can hardly see that. So then you keep on cutting it up, open the paper, because the tin foil wasn't that big, and show them that the coin has actually disappeared. Now, that was the cut coin trick.